tell me about uh, you know what's going on here at the camp and how how pleased you are with the amount of kids you've seen out here and their enthusiasm. Yeah, absolutely. We're at the Rhino Lacrosse uh, Camp here in Kingsport, and uh, things are going really well. We have. Uh, about 40 kids at this year's camp and uh, the business model for my rhino lacrosse business has been uh, to go to emerging markets and uh, develop uh, lacrosse camps and uh, plan on staying here um, and offering a week-long camp for years to come and uh, my company with rhino we do camps across the country and uh, we go from one location to the next so we, we were coming from Flagstaff Arizona last week we're in Kingsport um, here today and then next week we'll be in Portland, Oregon. So uh, it's really a coast-to-coast -coast thing and uh, we're going into new uh, areas uh, that are up and coming that uh, you know share uh, a love for the game of lacrosse and uh, my staff and I we have a strong passion for teaching kids the game. And one more thing you, you know the Tennessee Secondary School Athletic Association is adding lacrosse as a sport for the spring of 2021 if I'm not mistaken so obviously it's growing in the state of Tennessee uh, tell me what you think about that at the high school level and how how, uh, how much that uh, you know encourages you yeah because I'm not from Tennessee I honestly don't know a whole lot uh, uh, about uh, what is being passed here um, but what I do know is that uh, Oregon uh, has thousands of kids playing. Uh, they are still not a uh, high school sanctioned sport yet. Um, it's on the, up for the ballot every single year and they're pushing to have that. Um, but that's exciting because it'll help the growth. It makes uh, uh, the game uh, more accessible for more people um, because of the funding um, that the schools will bring forward. Uh, whether that's a bus ride uh, to and from the games and uniforms and uh, usually high schools will help out with helmets for kids and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's not the cheapest sport um, that's out there, um, but uh, having uh, sanctioned sport uh, makes a world of difference for kids.